Here I am back on the road again, and I'm at the airport, headed out to Vegas to meet someone that is my hero. I've gotten to meet a lot of great people, as you've seen, and have more than I'm getting to meet, but Dr. Laquata Sumter is truly an amazing person. She not only has an infectious laugh and wonderful smile, always happy to see people, but she has an amazing story as a child growing up, as a teenager making her own computer, all the way up to becoming a teacher and a doctor now, going around teaching children the importance of technology and innovation through STEAM education. So come meet Dr. Laquata Sumter with me. Dr. Laquata Sumter, I'm the founder and CEO of Focusing on Me, and we have our nonprofit uh, program, which is STEAM Through Drones, where we teach children about drone technology, but we mostly focus on the uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics concepts using the drone as a tool. And I'm also a full professor with DeVry University as well. That's outstanding. How did you get into using electronics? I've always liked to tinker with things, but in uh, middle school, my aunt and uncle introduced me to technology. And then I started buying different computers and taking parts from one to the other. Eventually, I finally got one to work. And that was at the age of 14. So I've been tinkering with things for a long time. And so from there, you continue that on and, and you got your doctorate. Yes, I got my doctorate in learning technologies, but before the doctorate, I went to college for computer science and at Albany State University. And from there, I interned at different companies to see exactly what I wanted to do. But then going to different conferences is where I realized that I wanted to be an actual instructor or a professor. So I went into the classroom and started teaching. And I tried to move up the ladder in higher ed, and that was progressing, but I realized that that's not where I was making my best impact. So I went back into the classroom, and I was trying to find something new for our students to do outside of robotics, and that's uh, where I found AI, and I found drones. And that's how I got into the drone industry. I was leaving uh, my very first drone conference and I was coming down the escalator with the uh, women and drones uh, of CEO. And I looked up the escalator and nobody looked like us. And I said, oh, this is the place that I should be. And so I continued to research, I continued to study, learned that there was a part 107. And then I also realized that our K through 12 classrooms didn't have much curriculum uh, for teaching our students about drones. So I started looking at developing books for our students and teachers to use to teach our children about drone technology as well. And so now you, you're going around doing a lot of STEM education. Please tell me about that. Yeah, so STEAM Through Drones is a program where we do summer camps. So I start in the South in June and July and then go to the north in August uh, because they're still out of school. We go and do drone building, drone programming, and even the obstacle course. So some of the summer camps end with a fun activity and we take out the obstacle course for the students to fly the drones to learn and eye coordination. And that's during the summer. During the school year, we're looking at drone education uh, in the classroom as well as drone education shows where we go out and take our fleet of drones and we show uh, and we tell the students what the drones are used for and the different career opportunities that are in the industry that they can get into. We also have Drone Quest curriculum uh, with the Discovery Drones and drone building and drone programming that teachers in middle school can use to teach the students their STEAM labs where uh, we actually teach airspace and navigation. That's a new one that's coming out where students can actually build out the airspace and fly the drone and understanding the airspace and understanding how to fly in different airspaces. Oh, wow, that's outstanding. And so what are some of the challenges you've faced and, and how you've overcome them? The first start of the challenge was actually curriculum, understanding what to do. How do we do this? How do we teach our children about this industry and how do we prepare them for the industry or the industries to come. We wanna teach our students soft skills and teach them uh, skills that can transfer beyond just the drone industry 
or teach them how, that they can be used in research and development as well in different industries. We learn to teach the STEAM and STEM concepts, the science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So teaching them to the solve skills of problem solving, critical thinking, communication, they can take all of those skills and transfer them a- across different industries. And then the next was funding. And that's still a challenge, still understanding how to get funding to provide those schools and organizations who do not have the funding to introduce STEM and STEAM concepts. Um, Most would think that there is a lot of funding for STEM and STEAM, but there are still gaps where we have in different rural areas where students know nothing about uh, aviation. Some of them have never been on the other side of their community to even know what's on the other side. So providing them with The STEM and STEAM curriculum is what we're looking forward to uh, and finding that funding to do so is very important and that's where we are right now. Outstanding. So I really appreciate the work you're doing. Love getting to see you travel around and and meet students. STEM education, STEAM education is something that that I'm really passionate about because that's our future leaders. So that are not just going to fly the drones. We're talking are going to make the new drones in the future, make the software, firmware, and third-party products for those drones in the future. So I really appreciate the dedication you have to to those students. I get excited, but to see the students' face when we give them a mission or give them a challenge and they get to work through those challenges or work through those missions and seeing that they have accomplished a new task, it's an exciting feeling for me to know that we've touched or we've helped another student see that they can when they think that they can't. Right, absolutely. So any last thoughts, any last things you want to say or talk about you're focusing on me? We definitely appreciate any support that we can get for the nonprofit to introduce our students more to the industry and be able to give them the STEAM and STEM uh, concepts and teach them about STEAM and STEM concept. And then also, being able to teach them now about advanced air mobility, being able to teach them about AI and data collection. That's where we are now is figuring out how to now integrate that into the middle school, teaching the AI components and the data mapping in the middle school. We appreciate any support that can be given for for us to be able to help students and teachers put more drones into the classroom and teach our students as well. And where can they go to help give support? Uh, it's STEAM through drones, and you can go to STEAM, S-T-E-A-M, uh, through is T-H-R-U, and drones.com. And you can see the different uh, availability of curriculums that we have, and you can support a classroom by purchasing a kit and giving that kit to a teacher and giving them the curriculum which we have, the lesson plans, as well as the layouts for them to teach the students in the classroom. Well, outstanding. Thank you so much for your time and uh, look forward to seeing more of your great work out there. I thank you for the opportunity to express what we're doing and explain how fun and cool it is for us to teach our children and the next generation as well. So there you go. Like I said, what a truly amazing person who, as a teenager, was buying used computers at Goodwill to piece together to make her own computer to now doctor of education going around inspiring our youth to be the next leaders of the drone industry through her STEAM programs. Thank you so much for letting me introduce you to Dr. Sumter.